Hello everyone and welcome to another J-Rock video. Today is part of the Autumn Lawn Care series where we're talking about photosynthesis and chlorophyll. Now photosynthesis is basically the reaction where a plant can self-grow and self-feed. If you forgot then try and think back to them science days, science class days as a kid where photosynthesis is basically where you get it from three main areas for a plant and it's the light from the sun, carbon dioxide from the air and it's water from the soil. Okay, usually uptaken by the roots. Now, this photosynthesis takes place in a region of the plant called chloroplasts. Now, without going into this too much, there's a structure within them cells that produces chlorophyll. Now, chlorophyll is really important because it's the region where it creates a green in the plant. Now, it, the plant intakes all this sort of stuff. You're now thinking, well, what does it give out? Simply, just like a tree, it gives out oxygen. So just on a little side note there, if you think about getting astroturf at any point or looking into lawn care videos, okay, your lawn actually gives off oxygen. So it takes in carbon dioxide what we breathe out and it gives back oxygen what we breathe in. So it's a really important process. And having just a patch of green in your garden can really be helpful. Right, so now that you know that chlorophyll is what gives the plant the colour, what then attracts the light from the sun, what helps our photosynthesis all happen, right, it now is really important that you know that the blades of grass more or less act like a solar panel to sort of attract that. So what we're looking at at so this time of year, especially when the light starts getting a bit less and the days start closing in, is that we leave that height of cut that little bit longer. So it's not just the fact that you're sort of helping about disease prevention and all the rest of it. Having that longer sort of height of cut is also gonna help this process of photosynthesis and chlorophyll, and then in turn sort of help the color stay for that little bit longer throughout the winter. Right, so now that we know that photosynthesis occurs naturally and it's also going to then help produce chlorophyll, what's going to help keep colour and it's going to help self-feed the plant. Perfect, okay, that's, that's happening even without us trying to do anything. Okay, we're keeping them blades longer and we're just assisting. But how can you go a step further if you're very keen into your lawn care and you want to help your lawn that little bit more this autumn and this winter? Easy. Seaweed extract. Okay, so this one that I'm using here is a 4% alkaline extracted seaweed from total lawns, it's mega stuff. So not only is it doing things like stress tolerance, disease prevention, it's sort of feeding that bacteria in the soil, and it's also gonna help break down the thatch layer. It is also increasing the production of chlorophyll. Perfect. So everything that we spoke about naturally there with photosynthesis, this is also gonna help. So myself, this will be going down like sort of every six weeks, and I'll be continuing that all the way through so probably the harder frost, I'm probably going to put down the last one end of January and then March, April time, I'll kickstart it again. So I hope this has been of some help. I hope it's not just been an information overload. I realise I'm not doing anything, but hopefully the information has been there and it's going to help you sort of go forward and help your lawn that little bit more. Uh, any questions at all, please comment below. I love answering them and thank you very much for joining me on this video. We're kind of growing a bit faster than what we have been in the start of the year and it's great to see. So again, thank you very much for start, uh, joining the channel. If you like sort of this sort of thing and would like to know more information, I also do a weekly podcast that drops every Saturday from all sort of like aspects of gardening to lawn care. And you can find that on Spotify, Google, uh, iTunes, all the rest of it. And that's J-Rock's Lawn Care and Gardening Podcast. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much. Give me a thumbs up on this video. It's been really appreciated. See you in the next one.